So hey guys, welcome back to another weekly video. This week, we're gonna be looking at what top apps are on my iPhone this month. Now I do this every three months and I look at all the apps that I found and like that are new on the App Store or people have told me about or that I've been using for a very long time that I haven't shown you. I do it every three months, I do a video showing you guys what apps I found. So if you haven't guys, go back and watch the first one and then come and watch this one. So we've got five apps here on the screen and we're just gonna go through them and I'll talk to you about them as we go. So the first one's called Just Park. Now, as you go, as you see, you load in today and it shows you a map of the UK or it says little options there. So it says park nearby or near certain places. So for the purpose of privacy, I'll just type in Manchester uh, and then it'll take us to Manchester, the city. And there we go. And what it does now is it says all availability, all spaces. Also found one here, you can park on literally somebody's drive. Like people could hire out their drives and you can park on their drive there and then. So there we go. And there, like you can pay, um, this one's £3.40 to pay the 52 minute walk away though, so it's a bit far obviously out the centre, but you get the purpose. You can put, people can rent out their spaces on their drive, in their garage, on their road, whatever, right in this app. Now the next app is called Can I Stream It? Now this app is cool, especially if you like Netflix and Amazon and iTunes and all that good stuff. So what it does is it loads in and you've got apps straight away. So if I go straight into uh, Marvel there, Civil War, now what it's going to do is it's going to give me some INDB information, some obviously rating and stuff like that. We scroll down then you can see if it's streaming so you can tell if it's on like amazon or netflix i don't know about you but if you've gone to amazon try to have a film in and it's not on amazon prime and then you go to netflix and it's on netflix so this app basically tells you if it's on that platform without having to search it's like a quick easy way now the next app we've got a lot of people might know is very popular it's called vsco now i've used this quite a lot the last month to edit all my thumbnails in my on my youtube channel as you can see here, these are the thumbnails before I add any like art or anything to them. Here they are. And yeah, I literally just go into like one of them. So for instance, let's go into my giveaway one. Obviously guys, I'm still on the giveaway, so go and check that out. But I can edit it here. I can change things. I can obviously up the contrast or whatever. I can lower things, but you can get the gist. It's a photo editing app that works really well and I use it for all my thumbnails. The next app is quite a cool quirky app and it's called Akinator. Now again, like VSCO, it is very popular and it, you probably would have heard of it by now. If you don't, we need to check it out. So we'll do this and we'll do David Beckham, for instance. So is David Beckham girl? No, he's not. He's not a YouTuber, but he is a human being. He's not American. Stuff. Here he goes. Here we go. David Beckham. It's a cool app, guys. Check it out, it is awesome, and also, find me. I, I am on there, it does work, but it is a bit skeptical, but yeah, check it out. So the final app then we're gonna go in is called Twicket. Now this links with Twitter, so you have to have Twitter to really use this app, uh, but the idea is that you can sell concert tickets and music tickets on this app via Twitter. Now concert tickets are very expensive and to sell them is very like skeptical because of, like there's a lot of fraudsters out there selling fake tickets. Now this app helps that. So obviously now we've got some Take That concerts now, we've got Ed Sheeran at the O2 year. So you've got Ed Sheeran and they're selling them for £76.75 which is the face value. They don't sell them for anything more uh, and they've got two tickets seated at the O2 arena. So people can buy those tickets now at face value right in this app. I think it's awesome guys, you need to check it out. If you're looking for concert tickets and you think, I'm, I'm gonna take it, I can't get them, you can get them via this. So thank you so much for watching guys today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and any apps that you've got, let me know down below and maybe I can feature any of those apps that you say in the next installment of this series that I'm doing. So thank you so much for watching guys. I've been James, you've been awesome and I'll see you, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.